Hello everyone and welcome to day four of Marion's 31 day challenge. Today my goal was to learn the one sheet wonder. I've seen a couple of videos on it and I thought it looked like so much fun and a great way to use more of your patterned papers. So I went online and I googled one sheet wonder and I found a great website. It's stampinpad.com and I'm gonna go ahead and link it down below my YouTube video and also on my blog greenscrappingmachine.blogspot.com it will lay out it does lay out everything that you need and um, today I'm just gonna show you the cuts that you'll do and then the creations that those cuts will create so you're going to need a piece of eight and a half by eleven cardstock, and I'm using this red, yellow, and orange flowered pattern paper from the Stack Seven DCWV stack, and it was originally twelve by twelve, so I cut it down. <coughs> so what you're going to do first is cut it in half as though you were cutting a card. So by four and a fourth and five and a half. And then each of those cuts will then create your cards. Well, from there, you'll continue to cut. All right. So we'll take our first one, and you're going to cut it in half diagonally. So what I did was just line up my two corners, and cut. And then you have card one and card two. So here is card one. And this website even shows you where they would suggest to put an embellishment and um, where they would suggest to put the greening. And so what I did um, is with the greeting, I used tags, bags, boxes, and more. And I cut out an oval at two inches. And then a white oval, the white oval is cut at one and a half. And then I put my sentiment in them. And two of each card, well, each sentiment is two cards. So five different sentiments on this. And then I also use tags, bags, boxes, and more to cut the flower. And it's on the blackout feature. And then I just cut it at different sizes and kind of stacked it and then added bling in the middle. So there's card number one. And then card number two, it goes the other way. And all the these are all A2 size cards. Piece of eight and a half by eleven craft card stock cut in half at five and a half. So there's cards one and two. And then you're gonna take an your other um, five and a half by four and a fourth piece of patterned paper and you're gonna cut it along the four and a fourth side at one and three fourths um, three fourths of an inch And then with this one, you're going to turn it the five and a half way and cut it one and three fourths three times. And then once you get the third rectangle cut, this little piece, this itty bitty piece right here is all you're going to throw away from that eight and a half by eleven piece of cardstock. I'm sure you could find some way to use it, but with 
this little piece of a scrap, I wasn't ashamed to throw it away. But that creates cards three and four. And before I show you card four, because you're going to need one of the other pieces from another square um, for card four. But for these three pieces, this is card four. And then they also have a place on the website for you to add another accent color. And so for this one, I just added yellow. And there's just a little hint of the yellow showing in between each square. What I would probably do is cut it down maybe another eighth of an inch just to put the yellow, let the little, let the yellow pop through a little bit more. But it works either way. So that's card three. And then I'm going to jump to card five. And this is card five, and this was the longer strip. And again, I just continued with the flowers. I think these were cut at one and a fourth. And then my sentiment. And then your next piece. So I'll probably show you card four last with this strip. But you're going to turn it the five and a half way and cut it at two and a half. And then with this one you're going to cut it diagonally again. And like I said the website shows you step by step. I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of how the card, how you cut it and then how the card turns out. So card number six with this one looks like this. And card number seven with the two triangles ends up looking like this. And then for your last piece, you're gonna cut a half an a half of an inch. And then, I guess, with this half inch and then the one from the second, you have two. So this creates card number four. I guess I can show it to you now. So that's card number four. And then you're going to turn it sideways at two inches. again and then you're left with one and a half so with one of the ones cut at two inches you're going to cut three squares at one and a fourth so then with these three squares you get card number eight And just to keep everything consistent, I kept all of my um, greetings the same size, but you can always change that, make it smaller to fit more on the rectangle better. And then card, whoa, I just lost card number 10. One second. Okay. Card number 9 with the larger 2 inch looks like this and then card number 10 with the one and a half inch looks like this so like I said this was a lot of fun and it does not take very long to do especially after using the website and like I said it, it breaks it down step by step for you and tells you exactly where they would suggest you put an embellishment or where they would suggest that you put the um, greeting. So I'm going to go ahead and stack all of these up. 
sure you can hear the pounding upstairs. My little man is running around. So, I cannot believe I got 10 cards out of one piece of 8.5 by 11 piece of cardstock. And just as long as you keep your embellishments and your greetings simple, it really doesn't take very long. So I'm going to kind of pan out here and swing my camera this way so you can see it all. So there are all 10 cards and I'll take pictures and put them up on my website. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a message or post a comment down below and I will see you guys tomorrow for day five. Have a great day.